Hi, Mark Donovan here from Falcon Imagery, and today I'm gonna to go over the major parts of an airplane, in particular, this Piper Warrior. So what we're gonna do is walk around the plane as if we were doing a pre-flight, uh, but we're gonna instead focus mainly on the topics of the major components uh, of an airplane. So of course we have the wing here, which provides our lift and drag. Um, starting here, uh, we have the flap. This flap allows us to come in at a steeper descent rate and a slower airspeed. We also use them sometimes for uh, landing, doing short field or soft field type uh, landings or even takeoffs. Over here we have the aileron and this allows us to uh, roll the plane along its longitudinal axis, which goes from the nose of the plane to the back of the plane. Here we have our strobe light and navigation light uh, back on the tail. You see our beacon flashing red up there. And then in the rear of the tail, you see our other navigation light. And then the left wing, we have our red light and our strobe again uh, for navigation. And here we have our landing light. All right, on the top of the wing, we have our gas cap, our fuel cap. Underneath the wing, we have a tie-down ring. We have our vent line for the fuel tank. We have our sump uh, for the fuel tank where we can uh, just um, push up on this with a sump uh, tube and drain the fluid or drain the uh, fuel from the tank to sample it to see if we have any type of contaminants or water or sediment in the fuel tank. We have our tire, we have the wheel, we have over here the brake caliber, uh, the disc, the strut, uh, the brake line in the back. So our engine here is a Lycoming 0320, 160 horsepower engine. It's four cylinders, um, horizontally opposed, um, normally aspirated, going toward the nose of the aircraft. Of course, we have our prop here and our spinner. Over here, it's hard to see, but in here we have the alternator belt. Um, we have our nose wheel, and then the nose wheel tire on the strut. We have here an air intake. Always wanna make sure there's nothing uh, caught in there or trapped in there or put in there like a rag. We have our exhaust pipe here. Uh, we have over here a fuel sump. Uh, we check this as well as the fuel tanks to make sure there's no contaminants in the fuel. This basically is going to the lowest uh, fuel spot in the, um, in the aircraft before it goes into the engine. And again, we're checking for water or sediment or other types of contaminants. Coming over here, again, we're looking at the tire and the wheel itself, uh, the strut, the brake caliber right here, and the disc. And the pads are right in there. And then the brake line over here, making sure there's no leaks. Again, we have a fuel sump right there as well. Then we check the fuel. And then we have a vacuum vent line right there that we're inspecting to make sure there's no clog in that. Otherwise we would get potentially, um, the engine would shut off on us due to a uh, vacuum that would form if that vent line was clogged. And we have a tie down ring there as well. So also what we have underneath the wing is the pedostatic vein or fin. Uh, you'll notice there's a small hole right there. This is for the ram air coming in. We have a hole down underside right here at the bottom for uh, pedo heat to drip any moisture or ice that might build up inside the, the fin uh, due to rain. And here at the very back of the fin, there's a small here hole at the bottom, and this is for a static um, port. And so between the uh, ram port on the front side of the fin and the static port, uh, these control our pedostatic um, inputs for our airspeed indicator, our vertical speed indicator, and altimeter. Also on the left wing leading edge, we have this little tab here. This is our, um, our stall warning indicator. Basically, if our angle of attack gets too high, this triggers this little tab and a horn goes off on the plane, letting us know that we're about ready to stall the aircraft. 
And again, coming around to this side, we have the left wing, the aileron, and the flap. This whole back portion of the aircraft is known as the empennage, whereas the front portion is known as your fuselage. And so on the empennage here, we have the vertical um, stabilizer with a rudder. And over here, we have uh, a stabilator. And the stabilator goes up and down. And you notice this little tab here moving in tandem with it. That is our uh, anti-servo trim tab. And that basically is used to relieve pressures when we're um, trying to trim the plane out so that we don't have to work so hard to hold the plane in a particular attitude like a climb or descend or level flight. Um, as that stabilator moves up and down, and this happens when we pull back and pull forward or push push forward on the yoke or pull back on the yoke. The nose of the aircraft will pitch down or up depending how we push or pull on the yoke and the aircraft will rotate along its lateral axis. That's from uh, the center of the wing on the left all the way to the center of the wing on the right. Um, behind the vertical stabilizer is the rudder and the rudder is used for controlling the aircraft in its vertical axis or yaw. So this antenna here is a comm antenna, so is this one. Over here we have our emergency locator transmitter, ELT. And we have our VOR antennas, or nav antennas up here at the top on either side of the vertical st stabilizer. And that little fin antenna you see underneath the aircraft, that is for our transponder. Uh, the last thing I think I'll mention here is on top of the aircraft, you'll see this kind of teardrop type antenna. This is a GPS antenna. So hopefully you found this video useful. If you did, consider hitting the like button and subscribing to the channel so you get notified on my next video.